when Jesus showed up at the foot of my bed on a Saturday night, all I could look into were his eyes. I saw love and compassion, and I just melted into a puddle at his feet. Lord, I will do anything you ask me to do. And then these were the words he said to me. There are hurting people, and I want you to love them for me. I sat on the couch and I just said, I, I ain't got it. We have sacrificed many, many years of our lives to, to, to see smiles on other people's faces. But there was times when you could see smiles on other people's faces, but you're going home without a smile and nobody recognized that. And what I realized is that a lot of times people will see your gifts and your talents and they'll, they'll be attracted to that instead of being aware of your soul. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know how much I was worth. I didn't know how much God loved me. It just got to a point when we humbled ourselves and we said enough is enough. Because we were tired of not being in the right place at the right time in the center of his will, so. I didn't have a church anymore, so I kind of just. Lord, you know, where do you want us to worship? Where do you want our family so that everybody can be blessed in abundance? I remembered about her. That's whenever I remembered about her. And I was like, I should, I should talk to her. Let's see, see what happens. I don't know. It was just like a nudge. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And it was like in the middle of the night, he says, babe, I got it. She was like, yeah, you should come to you know my church on this day. And you should totally come. And I was like, OK. I believe heritage, it provides a hope. And that's the hope that makes winners in life. When life dishes out to you turbulence and storms and calamities, I'm telling you, you are anchored firm and you will not be destroyed because you have a strong foundation. That I have a calling, that I have a right to think, I have an inheritance. The name, Heritage of Faith. Across his eyes. Across. So never, 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 I've never heard of a Heritage of Faith or anything like that. He showed them in a dream, Heritage of Faith Church. For me, it was amazing that he gave me something for the family. Yes. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was, this is where I'm going to have your family planted, and this is where you all will flourish. We're going to jump in the car, and we're just going to go drive 13 hours on a Wednesday night. It was just like, I knew I needed to be here. And I just was excited when I saw the H. And I, just I, was like, I walked in, I saw the foyer, and I just felt this presence of God. I was like, this is home. I kind of just fell in love with it. I believe they come because they experience God's grace in action. I, I believe that they sense His presence. I believe they sense His love in the people in how they're genuinely received by the people of Heritage of Faith from the moment they drive onto our property and walk in through the doors. And when I came here, it was, it was different. I, oh my goodness. Like, it was like a second wind. And to hear your children say that they love the church and they feel love, that's amazing. I mean, for a mom, I'm like, I'm excited. You know, I think that's why I really like it here. It just made me feel like home. It's like another family that I never had. So that's, that's how it feels for me. And so that's what ministry is supposed to be about, family. So even your church is supposed to feel like family. You know, because nobody wants to be alone. Nobody wants to be isolated. And so that's exactly what it is to us. This is, this is family. This is home. We need each other. You know, that's what the, the church, I believe, was established upon. It was established upon relationship. It was established upon family. So this is exactly this is exactly <laughs> We're excited. where he told us to be. So I just brought myself here and I was like, every day I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come every Sunday. And it's a safe place for people to come and get to know God. 
and be equipped with the Word of God, the things of God. We're not a young church. We're not an old church. We have all generations, all races. Everyone connects together. I love that about our, our church. If you show up, something's going to happen for you. Something is definitely going to happen. And people need to know. All you got to do is show up. I was changed. I was different. You know, it was like an awakening. I don't know how to explain it. And when you get here, something spectacular is going to happen. It, it happened for us. I wouldn't have had this if it wasn't for that one person that reached out to me. Because I know the same thing that changed me has the ability to change them. That's the evidence of faithfulness, that you will abound in blessings. It's never been more important than right now for them to flourish in every area of their lives. Our whole aspect of existence is making winners in life, but where we see ourselves is making a dramatic impact in South Fort Worth and the Crowley area. Where we see ourselves is, is 2,000 people by 2023. What we see is a, a church that is changing the culture of a community. What we see is a team of 500 people that are going out every month and ministering to the needs of our community, whether that be serving in the community, whether that's working in, in government agencies, whether it's one-on-one -on -one evangelism. These are indeed the days of my greater glory, saith the Lord. I will cause it to manifest for all who have remained faithful to me and faithful to my word, and I will cause them to flourish and to abound, even as I have promised in my word. I see lots of buildings on this property. I see us meeting practical needs in the, in the families of the community, like having um, the sports camps and after school programs, um, where we're teaching the love of God to the children and they're impacting their families. There's an excitement, there's an expectancy for the days ahead. There's an excitement for what God's doing here at Heritage and where we're going. And it's so good to know we're doing it as a family.